Hello, we got a little Noel poodle here. This is gonna be my 17 week bump date. I'm 17 weeks and five days today, still due March 5th, 2022. So let's talk about week 17. This week, the baby is the size of a baby hedgehog, which is cute, a pomegranate, slice of cake, which varies a lot in size. So, you know, the usual, <laughs> a game console controller. And the baby is 5.59 inches long and 6.7 ounces. So getting closer to that pound mark, getting a little bit bigger, very cute. Weight gain, still no weight gain. I was weighed on Monday at the doctor's office and I had not gained any weight, but I haven't lost any weight. So I guess that's a good thing. Oh, we'll count that. Must have item for this week, I'm gonna say is Instagram because I posted a lot of questions on Instagram and people were great about answering, about interacting and helping me figure out some issues that we were having. So I appreciate that and the community that is like building over there. So that was great. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's always in my bio and it's always at the end of the video. I have a little end card now that I put in there, but it was great this week. Symptoms for this week, I still have a little bit of nausea. It's off and on, some days are better than others. Some days I really don't have any nausea at all. And then other days I feel pretty nauseous the whole day. So that's always good. <laughs> still no appetite, still no cravings. I just feel not hungry. If I could, I'd go all day without eating, um, but I don't because I know that's not good. So definitely lack of appetite still. I can feel like my heart beating really fast lately. I think that has to do with some of the anxiety this week that like it feels, I just like feel it beating quickly. Even like when I'm just sitting, not doing anything, my heart shouldn't be beating fast, but I can feel it. Um, I had my watch on yesterday because I had worked yesterday and I always wear it when I'm working and my heart beat, like just not doing anything and standing still was like 120 beats per minute, like all day, the whole day, which is very fast for me. Usually resting is like, uh, probably in like the 80s or the 70s when I'm awake. So that's pretty high. I'm definitely still feeling anxious like I talked about last week, which I think the heart racing has to do with that. Cravings and aversion, still a boring category because I don't have any cravings and I have a lot of aversions. Uh, not really like craving anything. So hopefully that's coming. I don't really have a good one from what I missed this week. Off the top of my head, I was just in the room where it's gonna be the baby's room. It's not yet, cause we're still like working on it, but I have a lot of baby clothes in there and I miss going baby clothes shopping, but I'm trying to like limit myself because I have a lot of baby clothes, like more than I need. So I really don't need to go shopping anymore, but I really love going baby clothes shopping cause I can find some really good deals and then I feel like really good about myself when I find a good deal. And I just think looking at them is so cute. They're so tiny and adorable, so. Maybe I'll treat myself and buy more baby clothes that we don't have room for. Challenges this week, this is gonna be kind of a long story that involves some like discharge talk. So if you don't wanna hear about that, skip past this part. But last week I had uh, some like brownish discharge and I didn't really think anything of it because you always hear that red discharge is like the one to look out for. And I was like, yeah, it's brown, it's fine. But then it happened, it happened again twice on Saturday night, like almost a week ago. And I was like, that's weird. I don't know why this is happening. I'm kind of concerned about it. So the next morning on Sunday, I called my doctor. It was Sunday, so they were closed, but they have like a doctor on call that they put me through to. And I asked about it and they were like, if you're not bleeding heavily and not cramping heavily, then it's probably okay to not go to the ER. Just make an appointment Monday morning, like as soon as we open, which kind of concerned me that they said as soon as we open. So I called doctor's office, gave him the whole story. Oh, also on Sunday, it happened three more times and it was kind of like a brownish turning into a pinkish, which concerned me as well. So Monday, called the doctor, got in with a different doctor than I normally see, because um, my location was booked, but they found a different location, which was great benefits of a large hospital, I guess. And uh, they did a lot of blood work and I did like a urine sample, check for all kinds of things. My blood pressure was really high. I always have like great blood pressure and it's always like a, a good level, but it was super high. <clears throat> the bottom level was high, the lower level was fine. But I, my husband thinks it was just because I was nervous, which it could be. But then they were saying they need to check for like preeclampsia, like precursors, because if I have high blood pressure that can lead to preeclampsia. So then that made me even more nervous. And they did all these tests and everything, had to wait a day for that to come back. And they said that I had bacterial vaginosis. So I'm on an antibiotic for that, but the antibiotic makes me really sick. So I called the doctor and asked if I could get on like a different one. So they're supposed to be sending me a cream yesterday, but they still haven't. So just waiting on that now and hoping it's not gonna cause an issue. 
but I definitely feel like that's impacting my mental health because they said there could be other issues. Like I could have a low cervix and that could be the reason, but they didn't do an ultrasound at the doctor's appointment. They just did like the baby Doppler thing where they hear the heartbeat. They heard the heartbeat and they said, it sounds fine, we're good. So they didn't do an ultrasound at all. So I don't know how things look in there. Um, but that was definitely stressful and definitely scary. And I still don't really feel reassured from it. So hopefully it doesn't happen again. I'm sitting here trying to think of a highlight of the week and I feel like it's sad to say that I can't think of one. Um, hearing the baby's heartbeat on the Doppler was nice because I haven't been able to find it at my at-home Doppler. So that was reassuring that the doctor could find it. But I definitely was hoping for an ultrasound and not just a Doppler. So it was 164. So it was a good heartbeat for baby. I guess I'll go with that's my highlight. Looking forward to, I'm gonna say my anatomy scan. So on October 14th, we go in for like the long scan where they check all of the parts of the baby and look at everything really in depth. They're gonna look at my cervix, they're gonna look at my ovaries. Cause I did have some cysts on my ovaries. Those could have like um, burst or leaked or something. That could also be where the blood's coming from. But they didn't wanna do an ultrasound because I said I was going on the 14th. So I definitely feel like I'm gonna be stressed until the 14th when I go in and they like look at things more closely and hopefully everything looks great. So I'm like excited for the appointment cause it'll like give us some answers and cross some things off and also really nervous because it'll give us some answers, which is scary. Let me show you my bump progression. I feel like it's kind of looks like a bump, but also <laughs> I don't know. It still doesn't really look like a super pregnant belly. Let's see. All right, I have kind of a baggy shirt on today. So I'll show you down. <laughs> down. Can't really see anything. This side. I don't have a tank top on, so just lifting it straight up from the side. Front, like I said before, there's like little divots right here and the other side. That's all for this video. I know it wasn't a very exciting one, but it's been a very stressful week. So that's what I've got for you. I will see you hopefully with a less exciting week for 18 weeks. Goodbye.